Moose Delaney's, the sports bar in Huntsville where MMA fighter Kyle the Monster Nelson likes to hang out to watch UFC fights and hope one day he will get to that level. Well, Nelson is a step closer to achieving that dream after fighting UFC veteran Jonathan Brookins at Fight Night 2 in Medicine Hat, Alberta on October 28th. Nelson won that fight by split decision. So I was definitely hoping on, on finishing him. Um, and I think I, I think I could have. He was just he was just playing a really elusive game, and um, and uh, you know it's good on his part. You know I think I think if he didn't, I would have been able to finish him. So but yeah, I was definitely looking forward to landing a lot more punches and and um, and knocking him out. Um, that didn't happen. Um, I would have preferred a unanimous decision too, but um, I like winning a split as opposed to losing a split. So can't really complain. Nelson prepared for this fight by watching past fights of Brookins and training extra hard. Nelson says Brookins was an interesting fighter to face. He's he's got a really long reach, which I, I had expected, but he was he was really good with his with his head movement. Um, and sometimes even I'm not sure how it would have looked on TV, but it may have even looked like he was kind of running away or fading away from from um, from me when I was trying to hit him, which. It worked, so you know it was it was uh, he was definitely difficult to hit. I was still able to get 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 some good shots in, but um, I definitely I wanted to hit him a lot more, and he was he was able to avoid that, and um, he was content in in wrestling. So whereas a lot of fighters, you know, they want to work towards the finish, he was he was okay with with trying to grab a hold of me and then hold me against the cage, and he wasn't he wasn't worried about trying to to hit me or take me down. Uh, he tried to take me down a couple times, and I was able to stop it. I think he got me down once, but um, he was he was fine just just sitting there and um, kind of hoping that the judges were going to give him the W. Whereas I I worked the whole time, you know, I was always trying to trying to hit him and then uh, and trying to get out and then uh, landing a lot of stuff standing up. So Nelson's fight record currently sits at nine and one, but out of all his opponents, he says Brookins was the biggest fight of his career. I think I, I showed, I showed everyone that I'm on on a, a UFC level, so I'm I'm more than ready to move up to to an organization of that level. Um, I would again, I would have loved to have finished finished Brookings and and showed them that not only am I at that level, but I'm going to crush everybody there. But I guess I'll just have to wait until I'm in the UFC to do that. Yeah, I could I could fight right now, so yeah, I'm more than ready. Um, and yeah, we're going to get in touch with them. Uh, today's uh, I think the first business day since the fight, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll get talking and uh, hopefully we can make some big things happen.